made possible by three. Hey everybody, what's going on? Nathan three four three here, and we have a another unboxing product review from our friends at Sheds Lighting. Let's get uh, let's get this thing open. I'm really excited for these. Okay, so I think this is two boxes in one. It might be. Yeah, there's two boxes in here. It looks like. Which is how Sheds does their things. They put two boxes in. Oh, that's cool. I got something really cool here to show you. They've, they've changed up some of their stuff here. That's awesome. We're going to slide these out. Box there. Got two of these little birds. I have no idea which is top, which is bottom. Here's the seams I'm looking for here. There's a drag around the end. But they have Sheds. Sheds tape. I don't know if you can see that, but their tape says Sheds. That's cool. So we've got two of these. I want to thank Ava for sending these over. And we are going to crack this open. Now those of you that are looking for smaller moving heads, but you're wanting a, I believe this is a wash moving head. If you're looking for a moving head that's also a wash moving head, you came to the right place. So right on top, we've got some instructions. We're going to go ahead and get a couple styrofoam plastic deals. So we get a smashed DMX cable to get a kind of a cheap DMX. You get a kind of the older style bracket with screws. This ain't the one you clip and turn. And you get a power con. Now I'm gonna get you guys up close to this so you guys can see exactly what's in this styrofoam tray. All right, you ready? Boom! Little moving head. Well, it's kind of little. Actually, it might not be too bad. Let me go ahead and pull the plastic. I already liking the build of this so far. We got two of these. I believe there's another one in that one. Nice sheds uh, deal. This is a, I believe, an RGB green, red, blue uh, moving head. Look, it does pretty good. So on the front, of course, you got your screen. Your menu up, down, enter, your LCD screen, your Sheds logo. Couple good handles on the side, good job. Uh, also has a deal to mount it, hang it. You know, these might be uh, might be used at my uh, wedding I have coming up in, um, see that would be in October I have, at the end of October, uh, these might be used. These are very cool little moving heads, I like it. So again, thank you, Ava, for sending these over for me to talk to you guys about. I'm gonna go ahead and just think, yep, pans all the way. Let's see, is this a continuous? No. So, I guess, so it's a 540, I guess you would call it degree. They do have continuous new moving heads that just continuously spin. Of course, we'll put mounting brackets on it. We'll get it up here on some trussing with the new deal. Of course, you get your owner's manual. Uh, again, thank you guys for sending this over. So it looks like we have all kinds of cool little settings. It's like you have a 9 and a 16 channel. Uh, let's see. Yep, so 9 and 16 channel DMX. Let's get you guys up close. Alright guys, guys so we have one of these going. You can see it's doing some strobing. It's doing. It's actually not doing too bad a job just doing its own little show mode. We'll go ahead. We're going to DMX them together, see if they look like together. So we're going to go ahead and... DMX them together. It's probably going to take a minute for them to catch up. Well, they're doing the same colors. They are doing the exact same show. Because <clears throat> I don't have them uh, reverse pan and tilt yet. Like they're doing a really, really good job of staying together. They are on an auto show and they are on slow mode. They seem to want to stay 
either towards the ceiling or depending on would be towards the ground a lot. A lot of these, again, if you're going to use these for certain areas, you need to DMX them. Uh, they Okay guys, as you've seen there, you've seen kind of the slow mode and the fast mode uh, on the auto programming here. These lights do look pretty good hanging from a T-bar or a truss or, or anything, or could be even set on side plates or, you know, uh, on the ground, on the floor, on a stage. Uh, these are some pretty decent moving heads. You definitely, if you're wanting a particular spot uh, lit up, you definitely probably want to Put these things on a DMX controller and program a show with them. Uh, they do look really good, um, like uh, the coloring, the color mixing. There is one color that's kind of a dimmer color uh, than all of the other colors, like the other colors are nice and bright, and it's that color right, uh, you just kind of missed it there. But uh, it doesn't seem to be super bright like the other ones, but everything else is you know, bright. These are 12 by 12, so this is a 36 watt. Uh, moving head total uh, and again I give you guys kind of a little close up here uh, after I shut the unit off of how the LEDs look down inside there they're kind of inset a little bit so they're not exactly more of a wash they're more kind of a spot or a beam um, they would look good for uh, outdoor lights um, you know if you're wanting kind of the Hollywood look and you want to shine these things up in the sky I will be using these I do believe in a wedding I'm going to be doing in uh, late October, so check out DJ Fire's channel there for a uh, video of how these look. I'm going to use them, I think, on my side plates, uh, on my trussing. We're going to be doing the big arch trussing. Uh, some people kind of wanted that for a setup, and we're going to uh, do those and use those for a, a setup we're doing there. Sound active, I can go ahead and... and uh, put that on sound active so you can see what it does with sound active okay so in sound active when there's no sound they are running slower smoother um, they don't seem to be uh, moving very fast that color there you just seen was the one that's not very super dim or not very super bright uh, it does strobe a lot uh, so if, if you have a, people that do not like strobe lights um, you know which, which they do come up they do, you know, shoot out. They do stay out for a little bit. And uh, they do, you know, but I am noticing still, even on the uh, faster shows, they do intend to point backwards a lot. Uh, I guess, I don't know if that's just the way they uh, program them for like a home. The home is in the back. You would think home would be facing forward uh, and straight out. But uh, for a quick, you know, party, I mean, these these are fine. You could use these at a church if you want to, you know, spotlight certain areas, I guess, if you want. Uh, it's not going to be a huge spotlight. You know, it's nothing near like the, you know, a 10R. I seen someone using uh, the 10R from Sheds uh, as a spotlight not too long ago, which I've been thinking about doing. Uh, I don't know if I'll be using that uh, this weekend. I thought, or not this weekend, this uh, wedding I'm going to be doing, I thought about using that as a spotlight to set up uh, the wedding that I'm going to be doing maybe mounted on top of the truss or hanging from the truss or off to the side or, or something like that but we'll just have to see how that works but uh, yeah I'll give you guys a quick little look at these you can see here if I tap them 
they will do basically what the auto show does just with music so you can kind of see there i'm just i'm just tapping them i don't have music going right now i thought i had a could play a song and they would go to it but my speakers ain't quite loud enough so there as i'm tapping it yes they're doing the sound active and they look fine of course again you got the real nice lcd screen um, that is still lit up even if it's not super super bright you kick it on it gets brighter uh, i do believe you can flip that upside down if you are in going to always be using these hanging i left them the way they are just to because i'm going to be using them uh, right side up instead of upside down uh, they have really good handles here on the side so that's something good the brackets real heavy duty of course i'm using a uh, o clamp you could use a j hook you could use a bolt uh, whatever suits you it doesn't matter what type of bolt you use i am using powercon in and powercon out back here as you guys see um, to power out so that's cool you can daisy chain so if you have another light that has power con and you're, you've got it on a truss and you don't have you know you could daisy chain these and uh, make it work uh, with any other light that has a power con um, it, I do have a DMX master slaved this is the master the slave is over there don't mind the wiring it's just set up here for this demonstration uh, and all that stuff I will have a better wiring set up uh, on my uh, wedding event which we're going to be doing a totally different show there so kind of excited to do that and with these uh, see how they do in a bigger venue but uh, check out that dj fire channel uh, link in the description if you want to see these how they do in bigger uh, venues and bigger areas but uh, again thanks shed for sending these over uh, thank Ava for checking these out. Go to the link in the description if you're interested. These are only, these are less than 150 bucks uh, a piece. So if you're interested in some little cool little moving heads, the moving head itself, like it's got a fan on the back that's not very loud. The fan inside here is more louder than the fan there. But once you got music going, it will drown it out. Uh, I am going to go ahead and shut this one off real quick, which is going to shut that one off and put it back to DMX, uh, which I can use this one. You can see the LEDs are recessed in there about, uh, oh, I can get all the way a little past my first knuckle uh, in there. So maybe three quarters of an inch down inside there, as you can see. But the head is very well built. Looks like it's got screws here. It's got one, two, three, four, five screws in there. Looks like to take this apart if you have to work on it or maintenance it. Uh, this part is really heavy duty. Like it's, it's hard uh, ABS plastic. Um, these buttons though I have known if you're not careful they will break inside there and then you're left with buttons not working uh, and all that stuff but it does have rubber feet on the, the bottom there's the what the bottom looks like I wish it would have the the new snap clamps kind of like all the other moving heads are going to make it so much easier if you want to take the clamp off and on but uh, yeah go check them out sheds 12 by 12 beam 36 watt moving head RGB with color mixing Check them out, link in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.